I had some discouragement this week because of a perceived failure. I was launching something and got much fewer orders or sales than I had expected. Now you might say, George, I thought you're a marketing expert. Aren't you, everything's supposed to work out for you? No. And if no one ever told you this, business is about experimentation and even the most expert marketers still continually experience failures ongoingly. But what's different about experts is they just get back up and they try and experiment with the next thing. One of the most famous marketers still alive today, a lot of us marketing experts consider him to be like a guru, is Seth Godin. And Seth has said many times, I have failed more than probably all of you. And I still fail all the time. But that's why I keep learning and then I have some occasional successes. So that's what I want to say in this video. Well, there's one more thing I want to say, which is in my discouragement, I at first was thinking, why do I have to experience this? I thought I'm already over this and etc. But then I realized that there is a gift in every experience, even failure and discouragement. And especially in failure and discouragement is the time when we need to look for the gift. And I saw and I and I thought about this for some time, meditated on it and realized that the gift for me is the realization that so many people in my audience, so many of you experience what you might perceive as failures and discouragements all the time. And because I've had a good string of luck the whole year, I almost started to forget what the experience of failure and discouragement was like. So I was grateful to say, okay, this is what it feels like so that maybe I can then be even more helpful to, to you when you feel the failure and discouragement in your own business. And after some time of thinking, well, how do I deal with it? What might I help others to deal with this? How might I help others? I came up with this acronym that you may find helpful as well. I'm now using it for my own discouraging moments. Again, a gift from the, from the experience of failure and discouragement. And the acronym is BREATHE. And it goes like this. B stands for breathe. So when you are discouraged, when you think you failed, first thing you do is take a couple of deep breaths. And just keep taking a couple of deep breaths, slowly, gently. And you might even do it more slowly than what I just did. So B stands for breathe deeply. R stands for rest and reboot. So it's perfectly fine to go and take a nap or just rest for, for the week or to rest for the day or however, whatever you are able to do to rest, even if it's just for half an hour to go take a nap or to go take a walk. Rest and reboot. Reboot your energy with whatever activities help I have something called energy reboot that I practice that I've written about which I'll link in the notes of this video. So R stands for rest and reboot. Okay. E stands for extract the good. Extract the good. Find or I could say extract the gift from this experience. But, but particularly extract the good in that even in your so-called failure there is something you did well something you did right. Look for what you did well. Look for what you did right. Look for what you did that was good there and, and appreciate that so that you can keep doing what is good. Okay, so extract the good and also extract the gift from this situation, what you can learn from it. Okay, so that's E. Extract the good, extract the gift. A stands for ask for guidance because when you're discouraged, um, Oftentimes, it is life's signal and reminder to you or God's reminder to you to ask for guidance because we don't have to go through this life alone. So ask for guidance from your divine source and also from trusted friends, colleagues and coaches. Ask for guidance. Okay. And then T stands for give thanks for the guidance that it's on its way. If you're asking in prayer, 
give thanks that the guidance is on its way. And T also stands for trust. Trust that all will be well for you. Trust that all will work out greatly, wonderfully for you, for your highest good. Okay, T stands for thanks and trust. And then H stands for hold loosely to how the guidance will show up, what form the guidance will show up, when the guidance will show up. It may show up in the times you least expect it. So hold loosely and look for where the guidance is. Don't expect it's going to come from one particular person or one particular source. Okay, Hold loosely to where it shows up. And then finally, E stands for experiment with the next step. Don't just ask for guidance and stop and go, okay, okay, what do I do now? And just, no, you, you will get the guidance as you keep experimenting and taking action with the next step. So E stands for experiment. Do something to, to test what, what might be good to do next. So breathe. Breathe, take a few deep breaths. B for breathe. R for rest and reboot. Uh, e for extract the good, extract the gift. A for asking for guidance. T for thanks for the guidance and trust all we be well. H for hold loosely to how the guidance will show up. And E for experiment by taking the next step. I hope this is helpful. I hope you might try this the next time you feel failure or discouragement. And let me know how it goes for you.